I hate motherfuckers call me. It's like the universe just wants just messages, some of these messages not to be fucking heard. Like that irked the living shit out of me, right? Man, I'm fucking mad. Fucked up my fucking flow. Anyway, um, I was trying to say, and I don't even know if this is going to be on the other video or whatever, but I was trying to say I got married and then I got fucked over in that marriage and he was cheating around with the neighbors and then go way down to uh, SoCal and cheat with people down there and I come to find out who it was and and then I'm the one that fucking got beat for the shit. Not me being the cheater and getting beat, but I'm the one who finds out and got beat. Right? That bullshit. How you gonna beat somebody up when you get caught? That's some of that cheaters theater shit. Anyway, that's another day for that story. But I said, you know, um, that, um, uh, I was going to do good by, you know, trying to do right by my last husband. And that wasn't the case for him. He had other agendas. And so, um... It was bad where, um, like, people would snicker and whatever about this situation. And I probably was one of the good wives he, he would ever have. You know, he married again now, but, um, I don't know what the issues are, if they're having any, but, um, he was wrong for the way he did me, and so, I was at the point back then to where I'm like, okay, I married him because I wanted my own man. And I didn't want to have to share my man with somebody else. And I didn't want to have to deal with, you know, the morale shit. You don't have to deal with that when you got your own man, right? I was ha I was happy, but he told me something different by his actions. My morale went the fuck out the door. After I got beat emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, all of that, spiritually, I all of that. You can't always listen to what other people want to 
tell you how you should live your life. Um, because even then when you follow other people's examples, their example ain't yours. See? So you got to go and do what you got to do for you. You got to make your life right for you. When people see you happy, they will do every fucking thing under the fucking moon to destroy it. When people see your aura of good, clean, beautiful, loving, joyful, kind, compassionate, passionate, loving to others, just beautiful. They'll block it. But then they'll turn around and do the same shit that they say for you not to do. What is that? How you do that? What does that say about what they feel? What they think or do? You know? I'm curious. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about that answer. You could tell somebody don't mess with a married woman or a man and they can play that morale shit with you too, but they still messing with you all they want. But what they doing? Huh? Huh? What is it that they are doing? But then I'm going to explain to you. I said, okay. My husband was cheating around on me and whatnot, and I left and and got abused, and I left and shit. And the man that I was with off and on, you know, uh, me being a super side chick with my cape and everything flowing. Let's see. You know, I said, okay, I got a divorce. I got a divorce, and that freed me from being abused because my husband didn't look back. And that freed me from the morale bullshit. And that freed me enough where I was able to do whatever the fuck I want. I was a grown-ass woman. I wasn't no fucking 20-year-old kid, no 18-year-old kid. You grown, you do what the fuck you want. Do you And when you Ain't working no motherfucking Longer Then that's when you figure out You can change what the fuck you want In your life To, to make it work right So You know, people shouldn't be saying what it is that you just hammering, just just hammering into you, you know, about what it is that you got going. You tell them, did I tell you how to use your drug? This is my drug. My drug is I want to be happy. And God damn it, I'm going to be fucking happy. My sister told me. One of my sisters, I have four sisters. My sister told me 
years ago. Her husband was cheating on her. She said, and I was a kid then, she said, um, she told him, all right, you go out and get you some, and you come back, motherfucker, you go in there in that bathroom, and you wash that shit off, and and then you come in here in the room and come give me some. I was like, what? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you know that I was like eighteen years old or something like that, <laughs> maybe of <laughs> twenty. It that blew my mind, and she was older by then. She, she she's one of my older sisters. I'm the baby in the family, so. Morale often get left behind in closed doors. You can't tell somebody what it is they can and can't do if that shit makes them fucking happy. If it's not destroying your your whole life. It may destroy some lives. It may destroy you and whoever. I mean, that person or whatever life, but they made that choice. I had to I had to tell my family, my sisters and brothers and cousins and whoever the fuck else, look. That's mine. I knew what I did. My best friend even hounding on me. It ain't my best friend no more, but um, hounded on me to stop messing around with a married man. But then she turned around and was messing with him. Where the fuck is her morale? Where that at? Where'd it go? Did she keep it? Was it jealousy? Was it envious? Was it spitefulness? Was it what it, what it, what the fuck was it? Please. Explain to me. Because that was some bullshit. I mean, we was in a heated argument. But we'll get into that one later. So, whatever make you the fuck happy, mind your business and tell people to stay the fuck up out of yours. Right? People just get on my everlasting nerve. Anyway, um, it's three o'clock. I never can fucking get out of work to work for before three. I mean, I could have started work, but I'm hungry, and I always get me something to eat because everything be closed. When I get ready to to go to work. And I'm going right here. At this place. Clean jumper. And I'm getting me some fucking food. <laughs> Where they serve brontosaurus. Motherfucking size servings. Mm-hmm. So anyway. I will talk to y'all later. Because that, that call fucked my whole thing up. Anyway, um I will definitely get back to y'all about my uh life tomorrow. All right. Have yourselves a blessed day. Show some compassion and compassion and love to others. When you show a little bit of humbleness and compassion to others, it's not something for you to say you did. It's for that person to to see someone cares about them. It's about what they feel in their life that will higher their vibration. 
in that you need healing. I'm going to say it till I turn purplish blue in the face and black. Healing. Cut emotional ties, damaging ties spiritually, and replenish them with brand new ones. Happiness, joy, love, peace, cleansing of the aura, cleansing of your vibration, cleansing of your cheese, cleansing of all the negative stuff that has made you ill. Do for you. Do what makes you satisfied. What's that song say? Come on and do it. Do it. Do till you're satisfied, oh, whatever it is, do it. Do till you're satisfied, do it. But don't drag nobody else in your shit. If you running, run by yourself. If you got a partner, run with that partner. Until one of y'all say, I've had enough running. I'm going to sit my ass down. Make sure it doesn't kill you. Because if you see danger coming, get the fuck out of Dodge. Put protection up over yourself and over your family. Guard yourself and don't put your wife or husband or man or woman before your kid. Your kids come motherfucking first because they are grown ass motherfucker and they can fend for themselves. Them kids can't. Have a blessed, wonderful day. God's evening, God's love, God's morning, afternoon, God's night to you all. God's with apostrophe. It means God is. Everything to you as above, so below as it is here on earth. Done in dark comes to light spiritually. Have yourself a blessed day. Suki D. Topang and Jessica Guillory Rand sending you love. Bye bye.